Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a um, new skybox within Unity 5. Now, it's I think it's fairly similar with uh, Unity 5 as it is with, for Unity 4. But if you've had problems, if you've brought a project up from 4 to 5, you might notice sort of weird, um, I'd say pixelated sort of black areas in your skybox. Now, Unity uses the procedural sky in... Um, for its default version now it's got it hasn't really got any clouds or anything so there's not an awful lot of reflectivity that you can gain from it when i've got it for say my vehicle here yeah it still looks okay but say we want to make a skybox with clouds if you import something from unity 4 the images that you used to use so if i show you here it was there's a set of images that you've got to make a skybox which makes up to make a dome when you use the correct shader so you need back, down, front, left, right, and up. And now these are going to correspond to the things that we need to do. So if we right click in the project panel, go create and material, then we'll call it sunny sky, whatever we might want to call it. If we go to the inspector, and then we change the shader to skybox. Now we can have it as procedural, like, the ver like this one, and we can change the parameters like how big the sun is in the sky what sort of the atmosphere is like, what the tint that we can have. So this is just an example of what we can do in those cases. We'll make something really crazy and then we'll set the exposure quite high. Now, if I leave that like how it is and then we go into the lighting tab and we add the sunny sky, you'll notice that we get a skybox which affects it quite greatly all on the um, ground surfaces we've got all on the overall sort of saturation to the car and gives you sort of maybe a look about if it was a game in space or something like that where you'd need a really big maybe a red hue but say we want to add our own personal images what we can do instead of using procedural we can go to skybox and six sided now it'll be all pretty blown out because we haven't added our images in. Now what you want to do is if you copy each of these images, so I'll provide these or you can um, download them from Unity 4. We'll go and create a new folder in here and we'll call it Sky Images. Then what we'll do is we'll show that um, those in the Explorer and just paste them in so we get them in there and then Unity will import those in for us. Now we'll open that up, go back to the sunny sky, and you'll notice that you'll have front, back, left, right, up and down. So we'll add the back into the correct slot. You'll notice that it looks quite strange. We'll add the up. We'll add the um, right. We'll add the front, the left, and then the down. Now you'll notice that if you ever had a problem like this sort of weird issue um, you need to ask unity because if it contains an alpha we need to make sure that we say fix now so this might have been a problem that you may have had um, previously in your um, game oh, and here we need to set the exposure down because we need it to be more realistic so if we leave the exposure at about one and then everything looks you know relatively normal we can change the rotation of the sky if we need to which will change the sort of look of it and if we change the maybe the the color tint you know we can get a slightly different look of our scene we can get a more of a, a hue of blue at the bottom so that was really just a simple way to either cre create a procedural skybox or create a skybox which uses the images that we used to use in Unity 4 and specifically using for reflections on shiny surfaces or metallic objects. So really, that's pretty much it. And if you like the tutorial, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.